So I'm Jillian Johnsrud. I live in uh, the Flathead Valley in Montana, right outside Glacier National Park with my husband and my five kids. So the FIRE movement stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. When my husband and I first got married, the FIRE acronym wasn't a thing, but I knew that we wanted more financial freedom. And because we were never high earners, we couldn't say, well, we'll just spend lots of money on everything. Like we, we weren't gonna have that option. Me and my husband never earned six figures together. So we had to say what really matters and we'll invest money there and then just say no to everything else. One of my goals had always been to be able to pay cash for a house. So instead of buying a really nice $200,000 house or a really decent $100,000 house at the time, we bought the ugliest house that we could find because it was only $50,000 and figured out how to renovate it. This is in our basement and it actually flooded. So water had gone up to about this level. It was covered in black mold. So they dropped the price another 20,000 and we came in, we rented like gas masks, we rented a dump truck, we used vents and we just tore out this whole space in two days. So it was like the most profitable two days of our life. By Deciding to buy the really disgusting $50,000 house, it enabled us to buy our first rental property like five months later. And it wasn't, it wasn't an easy choice, getting out of house, sleeping on the wooden floors. It was actually a really hard year of our life. But it enabled us, like those hard choices gave us the amazing lifestyle we have now. So the FIRE movement is the idea that we grow our financial independence to the point where we can retire early. Financial independence essentially means that your stocks, your rental income, pensions, any passive income that you have coming in can cover all of your expenses. Right now, we have income from three different sources. We have Adam's military pension, which is $1,450. We have our rental income, which is $1,200 a month. And if we pull 4% from our investments, which is kind of the 4% rule, that's about $900. Because we don't have student loans, we don't have credit card debt, we don't have a mortgage, we don't have a car payment, our core bills each month are about $700. And those include things like property taxes, which are about 150, our homeowner's insurance, my cell phone is seven, dental insurance is 50, Netflix is 10, or ooh, they went up. Netflix is like 13 now, crazy. All of those expenses uh, come to about 700. We spend about 700 on groceries, and then we have another 600 for, for whatever. So our baseline expenses come to about 2,000 a month. With our expenses, we currently only need to live on two of the three incomes. So if one of them disappears or goes belly up, um, we'll still be fine. It also gives us freedom for our expenses to grow as our kids grow. As they get into high school and we're adding, adding more expenses for them, we have a large cushion that our expenses can grow. So one of the ways that we really help keep our kid costs down is that we just buy big lots of used clothes. My friend Jessica, once her daughter grows out of stuff, she just throws it in a big box for 40 bucks. And not only is it way cheaper, like I know a lot of people spend 100 bucks a month on their kids, but it's so much easier. Like we don't have to go out and shopping, I don't have to shop sales, I don't have to go to yard sales or thrift stores. Like the clothes are literally delivered to me and I'm done. Mommy, is there any cat stuff? We'll see if there's some cat clothes. In one of the books I had read, the author talked about how he just kept all of his food items to a dollar a pound. And instead of trying to shop every sale or clip coupons, this is gonna be a really simple way for me to just naturally lower the cost of our food. 
So one of our big motivations to achieve financial independence was that we wanted to travel and we wanted to take our kids on amazing adventures and show them national parks. Last year we did a 10 week trip with our kids. We took them to 10 different national parks in the West. And for us, that's like the richness of life. With a camper, we are able to rent out our house while we are gone. And renting out our house covers 100% of our travel cost. So we essentially could travel year round for the exact same price that we live here. Now we love having a home base, but this really allows us to go out and to explore the country and it, it not be a huge expense. We'd have these amazing experiences where they really have some of that, that joy and that fun like you imagine people have when they're spending $150,000 a year on their lifestyle. We want to have the same fun, just for less money.